How can we carry energy with us today? The answer is lithium-ion batteries. Let's dive into how they were developed. In the 1970s, the oil shock pushed scientists to explore alternative energy sources. Among them was Stanley Whittingham, who discovered that tantalum disulfide could store lithium ions and produce 2 volts of electricity. This was a breakthrough but lithium's instability posed a major challenge. Lithium reacts violently with water making these early batteries unsafe. As a result the project was put on hold, however this research laid the groundwork for what would become the lithium-ion battery. In 1980 John Goodenough made a key advancement. He discovered that using lithium cobalt oxide as a cathode could produce a higher voltage, 4 volts, and improve stability. This breakthrough significantly increased the potential for commercializing lithium-based batteries. In 1985 Akira Yoshino further refined the technology. He developed a new battery structure that could safely store and transfer lithium ions without using pure lithium metal. To test its safety, Yoshino conducted rigorous experiments including controlled ignition tests. Unlike earlier designs, his battery did not explode but burned in a controlled manner, proving its commercial viability. In 1991, Sony became the first company to commercialize lithium-ion batteries. In 2019, Stanley Whittingham, John Goodenough, and Akira Yoshino were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their contributions to lithium-ion battery development. The Nobel Committee described their achievement as one that they created a rechargeable world. The future of batteries is evolving. What will be the next step?